Great, so we're here at the wind tunnel uh, answering your Q&A and I have Joe here from Elite Bicycles in Tyler, Texas. And Joe, what are we here looking at today? Uh, we're gonna be doing beard versus no beard. So let's see how aerodynamic this thing is. All right, we're gonna have you go ahead and hop on. All right, so we're here with Joe and uh, we're trying to figure out whether or not the beard matters. And in order to do that, we need to really make sure that we're looking at just the difference of the beard and not having the beard. So in order to do that, uh, we need to make sure that nothing else really changes in the position. Uh, so we'll take uh, roughly 10 data points with the beard, with him pedaling like this, and uh, we'll have him then shave and take another uh, 10 points or so to make sure that uh, over that sample, uh, there's a significant difference between having the beard and not. Looking at the data, um, averaging over all those runs um, and each one of these bars right here, is um, uh, less than a watt, that kind of average uh, speeds that uh, you would go at. Okay. So looking at this, I mean, the bars are essentially identical. Um, if we talk about time, it's less than a second over 40 kilometers. So if you're going 24 and change miles, it's less than a second difference, and it was within that. So, okay. you know, I, it sounds like you like your beard enough where that I less do. than a second is worth it. I do. It. <laughs> Maybe I can keep it. I gotta grow it back out though. You know, thanks so much for the time in the tunnel. And I just want to ask everybody else out there, if you have any other questions, body hair is all good. We can keep testing it. But if you have other questions, write them in on Facebook or on Twitter. Hashtag arrows everything. We'll make sure to do your test next in the wind tunnel.